Upwell has started construction of a prototype orbital structure in low orbit above the planet of Ovakin 6. No specific details have been released regarding the purpose of the structure. However, Upwell is extending an invitation to capsuleers offering rewards for the submission of rogue drone-related materials. The drone graviton emitters can be obtained from rogue drone anomalies and signature sites within high security space. Additional drone-related materials that are required can also be collected from sentient rogue drones or possibly purchased on the regional market. The materials need to be handed in at the Upwell Construction Facility at Alvacan 6. In recognition of their contributions, capsuleers are awarded Upwell Consortium loyalty tokens. Moreover, participants stand a chance of receiving new blueprint copies for consortium tractor beams and a consortium mobile tractor unit as additional rewards for their efforts. Be warned, unscrupulous capsuleers are known to be loitering around the construction site with the intention of acquiring these rewards via less than legal means. Recent Upwell-related documents that have been acquired by capsuleers from Empire Operations Centers show that Upwell is reaching out to all of the big four empires, proposing a collaboration on mass cloning or rejuvenation of selected segments of their population. The wording of the communications is clearly tailored to each individual empire, appealing to their culture and beliefs. Capsuleers have been stringing together details provided in the documents, and it seems that Upwell is proposing some sort of rejuvenation of different population elements depending on the empire. What the purpose of this proposed mass cloning or rejuvenation project is remains hotly debated. Some believe it is capsuleer related, while others argue that it is a type of large workforce or even war clone recruitment. Perhaps it is a counter move to the recent appearance of war clones known as Vanguard, developed by the Deathless. As the Upwell Consortium continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, we are left to wonder and watch closely. What are they planning? And more importantly, what implications will this have on the near future of New Eden? This is Alton Havery, reporting for The Scope.